Okay, here we are again, and uh, uh, we're into a next the next stage of this, and I want to do just a couple of things here. There's still some blending that can be done right here. I'm going to take a little bit out right here, and uh, you get a tool you can see. There's the arrow, and uh, there's still a little bit of garbage down here, so let's do that. We're on the layer mask. We have a black brush, and let's set the opacity way down and get a bigger brush. just a little bit more of that and then that looks pretty good and at this particular point what I think we're ready to do is to apply the layer mask and what that will do is it will uh, everything that we've hidden it will erase it permanently uh, so the way you do that is to go to the uh, layer mask itself and right click on it and say apply layer mask and what that does is it just erased it. Now, now there, there's no longer any more adjustments in this um, without starting a new one and even then you can only take away from what you've got now. So let's go to uh, the chin and um, work on those whiskers that used to be there. Okay, how about that? Alright, so what we need to do is get, a, get the uh, smudge tool and Usually have the, pix the pixel set to one pixel for drawing hair, and having it set at 87% is good because uh, if it's any less than that, you can't draw long hair, and if it's any more than that, you can't draw short hair. So let's just go ahead and start. And you want to be sure and pick a bunch of stuff from this really bright area right here, and you don't want to get your whiskers too uniform or they won't look right, and you want to get some some short ones from down in this darker area here so you've got lots of good fill and get some ones that are just going haywire there back out and does it look good yep it sure looks good so now then what we need to do next is to um, uh, we're going to take this little hump in the bird's head right here um, right here and uh, move it up to the top of the lion's head. So we've got some blend in this, uh, the, the cat with the, the cat and the feathers. Uh, so basically what we're going to do is go over to the layers palette and click on the eye icon right here of the lion's layer and it'll turn the lion on and off. Okay, so turn them off and let's go to the uh, um, polygon lasso and let's get about that much of the bird's head. Then click on your background layer and type control plus J and it will knock your selection out into its own little layer. Grab a hold of that layer over in the layers palette and move it to the top. Turn the lion back on and grab your move tool and plunk that up in there. So what we need to do now, kind of zoom in a little bit, and kind of place it, and then we need to go to the, uh, we're on layer one, so let's go down to the bottom of the layers palette and make a new layers mask for it. Uh, we're on black, I did that again, uh, and get a brush, and make it a much smaller one and turn it up to 100% and start getting the stuff out of here that we don't need. A much smaller brush. Get in closer. And we don't need to worry too much about that. We can switch back to white and paint some of that back in. Doesn't matter too much with what we're going to end up doing ultimately. So let's uh, grab a bigger brush. 21 should be good enough. Drop down to a lower opacity, somewhere around 25-28%, somewhere in there. And switch back to black. And start. Erasing this hard edge down here and blending the bird feathers 
into the cat. All where all of the ears showing again. And just make it so it looks like that those feathers are tucked in behind there. All right, there we go. Looks pretty good. All right, so let's uh, next let's get rid of this hump. Here's what we do: get the polygon lasso, click back on your background layer in your layers palette, and get in closer. Start right about there on the back of the lion's head. Cut down through here like this, and just kind of feather out of the bird's back. And now you've got uh, a selection with marching ants, so let's turn them off by typing Control plus H. Go get your clone tool. Come right here, press, press Alt, click to get a selection, and the only thing that that will uh, take out is anything inside that selection. So. Go ahead and do that. Cleans it up nice and straight and leaves you with a nice feathered edge. It looks pretty good. So let's uh, next go to the bird's beak where it's sticking out of the lion's mouth, which looks kind of cool, but um, I think we need to get it out of there. Uh, so Alt click again. Uh, oops, we need to uh, type Control D to remove your uh, uh, your selection from before. And then you just take it out of there. Okay, that's done. And we are just about to the point where I think we should change the color. All right, then. Click back on the lion layer and control click to select it. Type Alt LJL to get a new levels layer. Hit enter. And what we want. We want this out on a separate layer by itself. We don't want we don't want to just apply this to the layer by by doing the uh, uh, Control L command. And we'll drop the uh, mids of RGB down to about 80. We'll click up here, get the reds. We'll bump them up to about 100. 10 or so, and we'll go get the greens, and we'll bump them out to about, mm, looks like about minus, or 0.95. Say OK, File, Save, and we are done.